Hello, welcome to this channel. Thank you for being here at this time. I'm going to be sharing something about, I'm just taking advantage of this 34th week of the year uh, to share something about the 34th book. I'm going to, you know, show um, the mystery behind the book of Nahum being the 34th book of the Bible. Every book of the Bible has a prophetic role it plays in the Bible. You know, I know that when we read the book of the Bible, Bible scholars are looking for history. They are looking for things that will confirm history and uh, they're looking for different things. They're also looking for the doctrines, they're looking for doctrines. But there is something else. So it's not the books of the Bible are not just about the doctrines. It's not just about the lessons in history or the confirmations in history or the, confirm I mean, the historical uh, side to, to it. But it's to know that every book of the Bible is a word in season. Now, the book of the Bible is for all seasons, but it is a word for seasons. So that's why when God allows a book of the Bible to, God has allowed books of the Bible to be where they are, not just because of their subject they have, not just because of the theology or the doctrines they teach or, or even chronology. The books of the Bible are where they are because of the seasons they speak to. This is a mystery in God's word. And so, the book of Nahum is the 34th book of the Bible because the book of Nahum speaks to people in the 34th season. And the reason, now when I talk about the 34th season, I'm talking about maybe a family has seen, a family has marked the 33rd anniversary and is now entering the 34th year. Or an individual has you know, marked the 34th birthday and is now moving into the 34th year or a nation is in the 34th year or an organization has marked 33rd year and is moving into the, 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 the 34th year so that's what i mean by 34th season or that a nation is moving into the 34th seven years as long as the season is marked 34th the 34th seven years you know is, is that that means the nation is um, like 230 something in the middle of the 230 something years, you know. So that's the 34 seven years. Now, so what does the book of, why, what does the book of um, Nahum have to do with somebody entering 34 years? The book of Nahum shows you that God is a jealous God and that he will react against the wicked. I want to show you something here. Nahum opens in Nahum chapter 1. Nahum is just a book that has 47 verses in three, in three chapters. Verse 2, he says, the God is jealous and the Lord avenges. What are you talking about jealousy? Jealousy rises up when somebody is, you know, trying to, let's say, a man is coming after another man's wife. Then jealousy rises up in the heart of the husband of that woman. So when the Bible says that God is jealous, it's saying, look, as you move into your 24th year, I mean 34th year, the wicked may rise. But Nehum is saying, in the same season that the wicked rise, the jealousy of God is going to rise to protect his rights and to protect the righteous. So, when, so it is not uncommon to see wickedness rise in the 34th year of a family or in the 34th year of a an individual or an organization or within the 34 seven years of a, of a nation, you could see wickedness rise up. Wickedness will just rise up. And the reason the wicked will rise because it is a season of vengeance against wickedness. 
in Genesis 34, Shechem raped Jacob's daughter. Now, perhaps that was not the first wicked thing he, was, he would do. The man must have been in that kind of habit. But now that you are tempted it where Jacob's daughter is, it means your end has come. Because the sons of Jacob are going to take vengeance. So within this season, wickedness will rise. So Micah shows you that in this same season when the wicked rise, God is a jealous God. The jealousy of God is going to rise against the wicked. So he says, God is jealous and the Lord avenges. In the same verse, he said, the Lord avenges and is furious. Within the same verse, he said, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserves wrath for his enemies. In Nahum, this is just verse 2, chapter 1, verse 2. So it introduces God. So, so when you come into the 34th season, you have a revelation of God who repays the wicked. So when the wicked begin to rise up, you just calm your heart and say, well, I know one thing that the wicked are going to get their pay in this season. Did it happen in the 34th year of Nigeria? Why not 1994? Read the history of this nation. You see vengeance on The adversaries of the Lord. See vengeance. So, and you see that happen. So within the 34, seven years of the United States, that's when Osama bin Laden, who masterminded the 2001 terrorist attack at the World Trade Center, that's when he was killed. After about 11 years or within the 11th year of that operation, that terrorist, terrorist attack, so the book of Nahum strengthens you to say, no, 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 no. The Lord is not going to forsake the righteous. The Lord is not going to leave the righteous alone. The Lord is going to take vengeance for the righteous. The psalmist will say, I've been old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken. So, so that's why the book of Nahum is there, to strengthen the righteous not to be afraid of the wicked. It, it talks about, you know, being delivered, the righteous being delivered from their fears. It says, it said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him from them all. And one of the ways he does is to rise up against what is distressing the righteous, the, 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 the fountain of frustration against the righteous. God attacks it. So that's what the book of Nahum shows us. So when you read the book of Nahum, and you'll be wondering, well, what does this have to do with the 34th season? The 34th season is when God visits the righteous, but he does so by attacking the wicked. So that's why the book of Nahum is the book for the 34th year, is the book for the 34th week, is the book for the 34th day, is the book for the 34th seven years, is the book for even the 34th 49 years, if there's anything like that. So that's what the book of Nehub is, and I love you. I, I want you to love this book and read this book because someday someone you know or you will find yourself in a 34th season and the book of Nehub will become a word in season for you. God bless you.